Today I'm going to show you how to determine your terrain height when your terrain is not flat. So I'm going to use ray casting. I use this example with these coins. I put the coins three studs above the terrain, but the terrain is unknown, right? We got a lot of hills. We got a lot of valleys. How are you going to do it? We're going to use ray casting. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So this is a new terrain. There's nothing in the world and decorations are on. Let's turn that off just for the sake of the video. And you're given the task to write code to randomly place pickups throughout the world. But at some point they're going to change the terrain and it's not going to be flat. What are you going to do? So they give you the pickup to add, let's say it's this part right here and it's called pickup. Uh, it's yellow, right? Got to give an example. And then the size will just make it one by one by one. It's going to be anchored and can collide is going to be off. It's going to hang in the air. All right, that's your pickup. You move it down to server storage because you know you're going to have to clone a whole bunch of them. We're going to go to server script service, hit the plus, add a script, and then this might be called something like uh, place pickups. Place pickups. All right, where is your pickup? Let's go ahead and get a variable for server storage. Game get service server storage. And what else do I need? A random number generator, right? We're going to place them randomly throughout our world. Yeah, we'll do random uh, dot new. All right, so we get our function local function place pickup and we need to get our pickup from server storage say local t pickup for template pickup server storage wait for child ah there's our pickup so we're moving right along let's say we have to do a, a 500 500 have to be put into the world so i'm going to say 4i equals 0 or let's go with 1 1 to 500 in steps of 1 do well, we need to randomize our X. So I'll say local X RND next integer. Let's place it negative 500 studs to 500 studs. So we're going to get a random number between negative 500 and 500. And we need that for the Z too, right? That's the map is the X and the Z. Y is the height. That's our problem area, but we chose not to, we chose to ignore it for now. And then this one for the Z will be negative 500 to 500. Oh my goodness, there we go. All right, now our position, POS, will be stored in a vector three, new. We'll have our X, who, Y, what are we gonna do with Y? Well, we know the terrain right now is 10 studs high and the part, our pickup is one stud high. So 10.5, we'll put it on the surface of the terrain 13.5, we'll put it, you know, three studs up. That's reasonable. Reasonable for a pickup. And then let's go ahead and clone our pickup. Local pickup equals, what do we call that? We have a T pickup. Clone it. Right? And then we'll make the parent the workspace. Because this is this is just a a rough draft, right? They're just trying to check things out. So we'll just put that in a workspace for now. And then we're going to do, well, it's only, we only have a single part. So we could do a position. You do a move to if it was a model, but a pick up position. And we have our POS, right? 13.5. Cool. And then what we would do is we would call that perhaps with some event that happens, but I'll just go ahead and write that in there and let's play and see what we have in our world. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we got some pickups floating around here. Everything is cool, but now you find out next week, they're gonna change the terrain. Oh man, what are you gonna do? So you come in Monday morning and you run your script check out your stuff and you're like, bruh, somebody changed all of my terrain. Now my Y values are not gonna work anymore. This is no bueno. Look at that little pickup halfway in the ground. We're gonna have to change some stuff. 
All right, so I turned off my game. I'm gonna go to my place pickups and take a look at my script. All right, here's the problem. When we, gen when we got our position of our pickup, we hard coded the 13.5 because we knew what the height of the terrain was. It was flat and it was Friday, so we didn't really care. But now it's Monday and we do care and we have to figure out what the height of the terrain is. So I'm gonna do this local function cast ray down. I'm gonna get my X and my Z that I randomly generated. Gotta find the Y value, gotta find where the terrain is. I'm gonna make a variable called origin. This is gonna be the beginning of my ray cast, the origin of the ray. I'm gonna say vector three new x i'm going to go above the x and the z on the y so i'm going to say 300 studs on the y and then z of course is the z that i generated i just want to make sure i'm above any point on my map and i know that i'm only 256 studs up at the highest point right local i need a stop value this is where the ray is going to stop so vector three new we're still going to use the same x and the z this time we want to make sure we hit the terrain, right? So I'm gonna go down minus 100 studs. The X and the Z will be the same. I need a direction vector, and that's gonna be the stop minus the origin. It's more than direction, it's direction and distance, but the documentation says direction, so I'll call it that. Local, we need a result after we do our raycast. Let's say workspace colon Raycast, start at the origin, go the direction and distance. The third value is going to be parameter. So you could put like ignore lists, like ignore water and stuff like that. We're not going to do that today. We're going to keep this simple. So I'm just going to put nil in there, right? Uh, default parameters. Now, if we get a result, we collided with something, hopefully the terrain. It's possible we could have missed it, though. We could have gone off the edge of the map or something like that. All right. I want to get my result position. That's going to give me an X, Y, and a Z. I know my X and my, my Z. What I don't know is my Y. But what I'm going to do is return the entire position. That way, when I'm down here and I get this position, I could just do my... What I call that cast ray down, pass in my X and my Z. Now I get an X, Y, and Z back. So I know where my Y is. And then I can add some height to my position by doing a vector three new, because I want my I want my pickup a little bit above the ground. I'm gonna do nothing with the X. I'm gonna add three studs to my Y nothing to my Z. Now it's slightly above the ground, right? This is the ground collision point of the ray. This is slightly above it where I want to put my pickup. Let's go ahead and try this. All right, there we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So it doesn't matter um, what the terrain height is, even on these slopes right here. If you drew a line straight down you would collide with the terrain three studs, right? Because we, we put it three studs up. That is pretty good.